بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله I was just reflecting after a couple of interactions with some of our brothers from Ahlul Sunnah and various projects that they're trying to and endeavors that they're doing and it made me reflect especially in the time that we live in when there's so much to deter us away from Islam and so much to deter us from the path of Ahlul Sunnah with Jama'ah and there's so much so many distractions and things to make us deviant within our creed and aqeedah and manhaj and with regards to shubahat and shahwat so there are many doubts from various forces which want to cause doubt want to cause doubt in our deen and various forces and pressures which want to cause doubt in our manhaj and our methodology and a compromise and to make it new and modern and to make it more befitting with the context of our societies so there's so many pressures externally and internally within the muslim societies and in the world and the things that we face to challenge us and challenge our beliefs that it's more important than ever that ahl sunnah follows two important principles the first being Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa'tasimu bi habli Allah jami'an wa la tafarraqu then hold all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide meaning that we have to adhere to the Quran and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that means we need ilm that means we need knowledge of kitabi Allah wa sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the second principle is that we ta'awana li bidr wa taqwa as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ta'awana li bidr wa taqwa wa la ta'awana li ithmi wa udwan that we should cooperate in righteousness in piety and not cooperate in enmity and sinfulness this qaida is so imprint is so important this principle Cooperate in righteousness and piety. What is cooperating in righteousness and piety? That means that we are cooperating in those things which advance goodness, which advance Islam, which advance da'wah to Ahl Sunnah. That we're cooperating. That we are helping and supporting one another in our various endeavors regarding da'wah with our wealth. with our time with our bodies and cooperating in charity in righteousness in doing good deeds we're cooperating ta'awana li bidr wa taqwa and in taqwa and taqwa ahabbat fi llah as we know as the salaf used to describe it that taqwa wa taqwa allah azza wa jal is that we having god fearfulness and that means what that means to mesek be deen wa awamir allah which tinab al maasi it means to adhere to the commandments of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding sinfulness that's taqwa allah azza wa jal and the other part of the ayat allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wala ta'awana la if me would want and do not cooperate in sinfulness and enmity look how relevant this is to a situation one of the situations that we find ourselves in with our divisiveness between ahl sunnah is we have some of our brothers and sisters who are so divisive that what they want they want to cooperate in enmity they want you to hate someone else then you will be closer to them So this is their al-wala wal bara for themselves and for their group and for their crew and for their partners and for their buddies. This is their ta'awun. This is their 
Hizbiyah, in fact. Wa'iyadhan billah. May Allah protect us from it. Ameen. So this is that forcing people to take your position. Then, if they take your position in this one manner, maybe it's for enmity towards a particular person or a particular group of people, then of course, then you must be from Ahl Sunnah. You must be on khair. When in fact, your, your minhaj might be Munharif might be uh, misguided, might be distorted, because you don't have al, you don't have knowledge. So this is important for us. Ta'awun ala biru wa taqwa, wala ta'awun ala ithmi wa udwan, and don't ta'awun in sin. So don't t- do not cooperate in sinfulness and hatred. So do not cooperate. In sinful projects, helping people to make new pornography websites, inviting your brother, oh, check this out, look at this sinfulness, let me invite you to this brother or sister, let me help distort your relationship with your Lord, or have you be disobedient with your Lord, let me help you in sinfulness, listen to this new song so-and-so put out, let me help you with disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the opposite of what the ayah calls us to. And that's what we have to avoid. If we can practice those two kuwa'id that are shamil, they're, they're, they're complete, wajami', they're, they're, they're complete and, and encompassing, subhanAllah, we will have a lot of success. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.